What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Play The Sims 4 with Greg and Brian. I'm Greg. I'm Brian. Keep it down. I'm sleeping. I forgot. I'm sorry. We're still trying to figure out why we have one bed but don't share it in a sexual nature. And also why I just heard a ghost door. I still hear ghost doors. Yeah, I hear doors, too. Um, If, you didn't, if you've didn't, if you missed it, we broke our old house, so we had to move to a new house. Here we are. No, you, it's fine. Well, we didn't break our old house. Everything in our old house broke on us. Right. So I mean, I feel like it was just regular use, and things just got destroyed. But this is why, uh, Greg, you and I both rent apartments. Yeah. There's a very strong distinction there between people who own homes uh, and people who rent apartments. And owning homes is the mo more responsible thing to do because you your money goes towards something instead That's of just throwing it in the trash. I don't like that, though. But I think it's responsible enough having you rent and then somebody else has to fix your crap. That's it. See, this is what I'm saying. That's that's the bonus of uh, our option is because when if my toilet explodes, I could just be like, not it, and walk out, right, call right, a man, right, right. and within a half an hour, somebody's in there fixing it for me, and I'm just like, man, yeah, tough tough rocks in there, huh? And then I don't have to pay for anything. But when you own a home, God, I hate that lady. <laughs> when a crazy lady just comes into our house and sticks around forever. When you own a home, like, you know, you got to fix that toilet yourself or you got to pay out of your own pocket to get a plumber over there. So Greg's going to go jogging, which you would this never do. This is the most life. unbelievable thing I've ever seen. Silence phones. Chat. On Monday, phone. Greg, I uh, I went for a 30-minute run. Wow. And I was like, I'm like, I'm going to do this every single day. Yeah, Here's the problem. It's Friday now. It's Friday. Yeah. And every other day this week since Monday, my body has been in severe pain. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how people do it. I like running. And this is something that people always yell at me about with the Team Fat thing, right? I, I, team Fat is just doing whatever the hell you want, eating wherever you want, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to change it up this time to be a secret agent. Um, I like running fine. It's just, yeah, the act of running is exhausting, let alone fitting it into our schedules. Yeah. Because if we're going to be jerks about it, we're really busy. We all do a million things. Yep. So it's like, oh, I used to I tried running in the morning, right? So I'd run in the morning, and then, great, that means I'm getting up at like 5.30 to go running, and then... I'm dead by the, you know what I mean? I can't play games when I get home, so I, mm -hmm. you're going to be a criminal this time. Uh, and then, oh, good. Then I'll, like, and then I'll run I'll run at night. You come home late, you got to cook dinner. I You know, it's just a pain in the butt. That's why exercise sucks, and I'm just going to be fat for it. We're both cooking now, though. That's a change. Oh, I like it. Yeah, my thing is, like, I can run once. <laughs> and then, like, two days later, I'm like, I don't want to run. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know what you're supposed to do. Are you just supposed to run through all the pain? Because running is already bad enough. Well, the more you do it, the better the pain gets. Yeah. Or See, sorry. I never got, I never got past the tutorial stage. I right. Think. Yeah. You like get, I've been you playing the you tutorial. Didn't, you didn't bring up those levels. Yeah. In your character. Uh, my skill XP tree. Chart, yeah. Yeah. My body skill tree. Your body skill tree. You're doing stuff. You're watching more TV. We watch a lot of TV in this house. What else are we supposed to do? I don't know. We, take, we should you make take some a friends. crap, you go to bed, you eat a grilled cheese on the floor, you watch TV, we're and gonna then go you make die. We're going to go make friends with this person. All right. Who is this guy? You're going to be friendly to this one. Oh, great. I don't buy uh, it. Oh, got away. <laughs> Brian, Chelsea, got, got away. There they oh, are. Oh, no, you found it over here, kid. Hmm? Oh. Well, looks like friendly didn't go well for you. What's this lady's deal? Uh, I don't know. I'll just talk about Sensei cooking. I love cooking. Uh -huh. Whoa, is that your girlfriend? Is that my girlfriend back there? It is! Oh, hello! What was her name? Caitlin Caliente or something, right? Katrina. Katrina that Caliente. is it. You're That's right. my girl. Goodbye, what lady. I'm what talking to you right now. Want? I want to say hello to her. So you want friendly? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If she's running, I have to chase after her You'll in, my, get her. in my full costume. Remember, when the game knows you want to talk to somebody. Oh, it, it, why is this old man trying to move in? I'm like, <laughs> hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll come run interference for you. Yeah, you can get Katrina you back. You come over and hit the old Remember, man. Remember, if you've been watching our Let's Plays, Brian has quite the relationship with Katrina. Yeah, it's actually been an interesting story. Uh, I'm in love with her. And ah, she, she got care. away. What the hell? Greg and Pat Preston. <sighs> now we're talking to this guy who broke everything up for you. <laughs> can I break this guy's legs? <laughs> sure. That sounds like something fun for your sim to do. <laughs> um, you're going to scare him first. Yeah. Then... I don't like this guy. You're going to be mean. Of course, that's what you do. This is every time, though. Every time I try to talk to my girl, Katrina Caliente, somebody comes in. You know why? Because she's the hottest woman in town. I mean, it's in her name. Yeah. Literally, her last name is hot in Mexican. In Mexican. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
I'm stacking you up here. See, this, this guy looks like just the worst substitute teacher. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I thought he looked right? like a professor or something. Or like an old Alfred Molina from Spider Man 2. Yeah. I don't like him. Peter either. Parker. Brilliant, but lazy. See, he says he doesn't like, doesn't like flies. Who does? Honestly. I'm going to say something about the mother too here. Hey, you and pumpkin? No, what, Brian? Where are you going? There you go. Come kick his ass, Brian. Yes! Did you like how I left just in time for you to come kick his ass? That was good. And you broke his heart, too. Good. Who's this psycho? <laughs> Who's this psycho doing push ups here? I gotta work out, man. I just gotta uh, do it. Get all this dirt in my mouth. See, this, I have this problem, too, because I, I, uh, I signed up for the gym like a few years ago, and I went to it a whoa, couple whoa. times. What? You get in a fight with a guy in the street. Uh -huh. A guy starts doing push up in the dirt. And you're like, I have this problem too. Listen to me. So I went. I signed up for the gym, and there, I went to the gym. Everybody was using all the equipment, but there was this one guy in the gym who was like, I'm not even gonna use the equipment. I'm just gonna climb over, climb on everything in like parkour exercise. And he would what? just start randomly doing push ups in the middle of the floor and run up behind you where your treadmill was. Why am See? I sleeping on the bench? Homeless man. <laughs> your house is right there. Oh, he's all tuckered out. He couldn't make it home. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm just going to go this way. So that was a connection to my story. Yeah, that's, random that's man really doing... weird. Why would a random man come in and do parkour gymnastics in Because in he, the he gym? just wanted to show off how... Why would another man sit here and text... He doesn't even know people. Who is he texting? Who, me? Yeah. I know everybody. I'm like one of the more popular dudes you don't, no, what do you, in town. In relationships, you, don't, you have a bunch of enemies. <laughs> and Katrina. I don't really have anything going on with Katrina. <laughs> Wait, but that, hold on. Not, what's that old man's name? Preston? Preston? Oh, I hate Preston. It's a really bad. That is a good enemy name. Oh, you're yeah. going out to be a bad guy. I like having an enemy name, Preston, because it makes me feel like I'm a scuffed I'm shoe in the '80s. What? Oh, you're gonna confront her, right? Yeah. She stepped on my shoe. Yeah. I can't be having that. I got nice Jordans. Don't worry, everybody. I'm up. I gotta pee. Go. Maybe. Yeah. Go pee. Oh, you definitely gotta pee. I'm drinking some coffee here in real life. Brian, take it. But it's nice to have an enemy in this game who's an old white man named Preston because that makes me feel like we're in an 80s movie together. Oh, right. And he's trying to you know, shut down the rec center, and we sure. got we to gotta do a yacht race with him. I went to Ironside for breakfast today. Yeah? You know what movie was on the big screen? No. Uh, Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, that's a Such great one. Such a great movie. And so, I was watching the sound down, but I'm like, God, I remember this movie. Amazing moment in that movie. Uh, me and my brothers always watched it growing up, and I think eventually it either came to like Blu-ray or DVD. And I, I'd only seen that movie on TV or VHS my whole life. A lot of movies, you really had no idea what they looked like oh, until yeah, they yeah, came yeah. to DVD for the first time. There's a scene in that movie where Rodney Dangerfield jumps in the pool. Yeah. Right? He does a cannonball. Yeah. No, he does the triple Lindy. Uh, the triple Lindy. Uh, obviously, in real life, that was not... Rodney Dangerfield. No. Because Rodney Dangerfield was like... He would chat, He would just turn to dust when he hit the, ground, <laughs> the water. No he offense was, to Mr. Dangerfield. No, he was a great guy. One of the funniest comedians of all time. He was also... It'd a, be like you and I doing a triple Lindy. It's not, yeah. not going to work. Rodney Dangerfield was one of those dudes. He was like 65 years old for his entire life. Greg, get off the couch and go introduce yourself. What is going on? Oh, that was you. I'm in control of you. That's a problem. I thought you were uh, depressed. We're going to meet somebody, God You're feeling it. flirty. And this girl just walked by. Flirty introduction. Oh, my God. See, look, you got it made. Sitting on the couch. I like how the game just stops people. Oh, man, I got changed. Come on. She's Barbie. Yeah, basically. I'm going to tell her jerk, dude. I have never seen, I could never picture you with a girl like this. Can you picture me coming out of the house at 12.39 a.m. to just start talking to some random woman? Yes. A hundred percent yes. That's, that is far more believable. So anyway, me and my brother are watching Back to School. Rodney Jub uh, Dangerfield does the triple Indy in the yeah, pool. Yeah. But if you pause the video, it's not even a believable stuntman. It's like a 16-year-old dude. That's awesome. With like, who's totally cut and everything. Like, they did, They were just like, uh, who can Whatever. jump in this pool? Yeah, yeah. Who, can do, who can do a couple back spring yeah. somersaults? Let's get literally the anybody. And back then, they are like, oh, they'll never put this movie on Blu-ray. They didn't even know what Blu-ray was. I had no idea. They're like, we're going to have a quality that's as clear as like looking at somebody? No way. If you get away with this. Embarrassing. I move too fast. You know how I, you know I move too quickly. You always do. Do you have this problem in real life? No, I move like a glacier. <laughs> Does a girl have to make a first move with you for the most part? No. No? I got no shame. And I'm also really direct. Okay, so the, that's completely opposite from what you just said moments ago when you said you move like a glacier. Well, I was joking around. Why okay. is she coming to my house? Our house. So you are a ballsy, like, first date kind of... Oh, you... No, I thought you meant like talking to somebody, asking somebody out. Yeah. Well, that's like... 
Okay. I thought you meant like am I ballsy on the first date in terms of like going in for a smooch or something. Yeah, going in for a kiss, grab her hand, put that, her I mean, arm that, around that Yeah, I like to – I do that stuff. It all depends on what's happening. The bed mm. stinks, by the way. <laughs> Does it? You. Yeah. What's on the bed? It was you. Your body was on the bed. Oh. She's really sad. I know. Nope. Well, whatever. We'll end it with making a move because I know how – oh. I don't. I like how she leaves. Oh, I know you've done this one in real life. Oh, oh, of course. Who hasn't done that one in real life? That's what real life's all about. Whoa. What's that? Wait a minute. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an interesting place to end this hey, one. Hey, hold on. What? Okay, fine. You want to see how it ends? Yeah. Like, I mean, she slapped it away, and then we did this. I now know how it might end if you guys go to our stinky bed. <laughs> I'm still embarrassed. I don't know why. I mean. Pops a name, a piece. Oh. I got. I got it. I got her back in the green with me. Uh, all right, Greg. I don't like flies. I'm just oh, gonna she we'll like build she it all up. Slap them silly. I don't what? know what the hell that means. What? And then she laughed at that. Ladies and gentlemen, no. Do not slap people silly and then laugh at it. We'll keep doing it in the game, obviously, but. Don't slap people, period. Yeah. Flash crazy eyes. You definitely have those. Yeah. All the greats did. Macho Man. It's a good list. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield had crazy eyes. <laughs> it's a good list. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, we may I think I should get going. Thanks for hanging out with the evolution. Alright, we did it. Yeah. And I'll take a nap for some reason. Well ladies and gentlemen, places. there you go. Brian and Greg are sleeping in their little <laughs> screwed up world. Brian and Greg in real life though are still putting out these here sim let's plays for you every day. We put one up every weekday, I should say, part of our twenty part series. This was part twelve. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you for part 13. Thanks for watching. Follow IGN. Watch it on YouTube. Do all that stuff. Brian, I love you. I love you, too. I'm having weird dreams in this whoa, stinky Whoa, bed. whoa, whoa. The mouse is out of control. <laughs> whoa. Oh, go. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to work? Go to work. Go to work. Stop dancing and talking. Or whatever. All right. Beyond. Poop. Poop.